the recovery in the United States of America is gaining ground and becoming more durable. The housing market, the household balance sheets and the labor markets are generally doing better. The private sector is leading and easy financial conditions have helped. However, the economy has a way to go before it returns to full strength. In terms of outlook, we see that uh, the recovery in the United States of America is gaining ground and becoming more durable. The sequester and other deficit reduction measures, for example, would have a stronger than expected impact. That's a potential risk. Another fiscal worry is doing too little further down the road after having done too much this year. Slight decline of the volume of bond purchases on a monthly basis. Unwinding monetary policy accommodation is likely to present challenges, including for financial stability. So this needs to be managed carefully. In our assessment, there is no need to rush to exit from monetary accommodations, given the still large output gap, given the subdued growth that we have, and given the well-anchored inflation expectations. Sources of energy. So while, while a risk as, as a matter of principle, we are seeing clearly that communication will be key uh, in order to monitor expectations and in order to reduce uncertainty. And uh, this will certainly be um, seen in the weeks and months to come. Well selected. They clearly don't lead to a short term. The Troika relationship has been of, of a very unusual and exceptional nature, just as the crisis has been. Very unusual, very exceptional. But it has been a solid cooperation, constant cooperation. And I will tell you something. I think there is not a week that goes by without Olli Ren and myself speaking on the telephone, sending each other messages, text, mail, or whatever. So I'm very happy with the cooperation.